Hey everyone, in this video here I want to demonstrate uh, HT access uh, authentication. Now what you can do, you, you can set it up um, to, to password protect basically any folder or um, group of files for example or one specific file on a website and in order for anybody to gain access to that file or any file within a particular folder for example, then they would be required to enter a username and password. So in this example, I'm going to show you how to do it to um, to create authorization for the WordPress login page. So that anytime tra someone tries to access the WordPress login page, which is wp-login.php, then they're going to be required to enter a username and password. And then after they authenticate on that level, on the H on the the HT access level, then they can, then they can actually log in like they normally would um, to WordPress. So that's what I'm going to demonstrate here. Now we need two files to make that happen. One file is HT access, of course, and that's where these commands will show up. We put these in the HT access file, and what this says basically is, anytime we somebody tries to navigate to this particular file this page regardless of where it is on the site then open up a box and prompt for a username and password and this is the path to the file this is a file WP admin that I created and that's uh, that's where the username and password are going to reside and there could be an entire list like one per line and the username and password they're created like this username colon and then password just like that so in this file we'll create one in a minute um, we'll, c we'll create a series of username and passwords in this example I'm only going to do one but you would essentially just do one per line if you wanted to create more so this would get it um, added to your HT access file an existing one or you can create a new one and if you have a shared hosting account or you have a hosting account where you have more than one uh, website and a lot of the websites have WordPress I have an example of that that's what I use um, I have a host gator account that hosts multiple websites and a lot of them are WordPress so there's a public underscore HTML folder in there and within that is where all my websites are um, so what I did was go one folder back from the public underscore HTML folder which is a non-public folder and I created an HT access file in there and within that file is where I created these commands so this will affect the WP hyphen login dot PHP file so the WordPress login page for every WordPress site on that same hosting account and then this is the username and password that will be used to authenticate this is the file that contains it at least now this password in the password file has to be encrypted so that's what we're going to do for the first step we're going to create a an encrypted password and I created a little here's a couple commands that you can use in PHP so we'll create a new PHP file right here I called mine test.php and then what we'll do is just change this to whatever the password we, we end up wanting um, for authentication. So we'll put in uh, test pass. All right, so you, you'd put in something, probably um, a very secure password in here. And then click on save. I'll upload that to the server. And then there we go. We have a, an encrypted password that'll be used for for our password file. Okay, so then we can just paste that in. So we'll go back here. And now, like I said, we would just put this into an HD access file. Um, I won't demonstrate how to do that. We've uh, we've covered that before you just basically copy these commands in and do a file and then a save as 
and when you do a save as you can you can create whatever extension you want so you you wouldn't actually use a file name at all it would be dot ht access and then you upload that to the file to the folder that's just before the public underscore html folder so the same if we wanted to create a wp admin file for example this is for our passwords so we'll be put in whatever we want for the username and let's save that save as WP admin and we'll see it says save as type all files so that we can cr we can specify the extension and then click save and then we can go back here and this is what we would use for the password and then we can save this file and that will be uploaded to to the same folder as we put the HD access, which would be the non-public folder just before public underscore HTML. And as long as this path leads to this file, then we're okay. And what it's and like I said, what it's gonna do is anytime someone tries to access this particular file, it's gonna request a username and password and it's gonna look in this this file here to validate the username and password and as soon as that authentication takes place and it's valid then the user will be able to log into WordPress as normal and that's all there is to it thanks for watching